You have a podcast? Like, I literally launched my podcast two days ago, right? You lost your podcast? No, launched. She just oh. launched her podcast. We all, we all have a podcast, too, that I launched three weeks ago. If I was Heather and I was showing up to a house full of women who I dragged through the mud on my podcast. Ladies, dinner is served. If someone even mentioned the word podcast, I'd be like, Ooh. Everyone sit wherever they want to sit. Okay. Actually, fun. you know, I should put my phone away. How gorgeous. Yeah, Eli, I put my phone in the mine. kitchen, please. I don't need it. This looks pretty. <laughs> well, I'm going to just take a picture. Ramona has been so good not being on her phone. Because I want to be with my Ramona. real friends. <laughs> All right, which fork do I use for the salad? Outside, 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 outside in. Outside Oh, I, I really was going to start with this that? one. Outside. No, well, this is the right outside. one. Oh, that's a dessert That's one. dessert, yeah. Outside one is dessert, right? No, salad, main You start from the outside in. These are all Tiffany plates. Wow. Beautiful. I have a set like this. So, Heather, you have a podcast, too? I do. <laughs> what do you talk about? I really talk to people that I find really interesting, how their experiences have, you know, made them stronger. So you could be on, for example. People. Yeah. I've already been on your podcast, apparently. Oh, yeah. You have? Leah was... I know, I did say something in the press about it. Well, yeah. really? What did you say? You said that Luann had done hard drugs when you guys were in St. Bart's. It was recent, no? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was, there was an art, there was, now I know what you're talking about. The article is actually, the, it doesn't say anything about that at all. It's like a headline. It was like a catchy headline. No, but the article does say it. It doesn't say Luann. You keep saying that I'm specifying Luann, and I'm not it specifying Luann. It absolutely Well, let does. me tell you what happened. Me, personally, I don't, if someone does drugs in front of me, I'm not saying it to anyone. Me either. Or me either. either. Just did. If someone does drugs in front of me, I'm not saying it to anyone. Me either. You yeah. just did. Don't you just, it was, you just call me out for doing it drugs. I don't talk about people's drugs. 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 I didn't about say you did. I said, first of all, I don't person. talk about it. Leah, listen. Okay, well, you can do you and I'll do me. You, if you doing you is like talking about people's very, very well, private, finished. private finished. things, how is that you? I actually oh. didn't say that at all. This is not breakfast at Tiffany's. Like, this is the lion's den. You know, for some reason, I'm being ambushed. I open the door like, Luann, hi, are you okay? She's like, yeah. yeah, can I come in? And she comes in. But then what was crazy was she brought me a joint. I'm like, hey, yeah, thanks, I appreciate it, but I'm asleep. But stronger drugs came out. I remember saying to Luann, like, whoa, I'm not into this. Yeah. I'm asleep. What are exactly. you talking about? So there's a reason why if you represent yourself in court, you probably have a bad lawyer. You know, I really actually in this moment wish I could step in and represent Heather on her behalf. I would tell her to zip it cute, be quiet, let me do the talking, concede everything. I was on the podcast with someone and we were talking about an experience and actually wasn't about you, it was about my experience that I had there. Who and was it, the guest? It was Carol. Oh, bitch. Okay, and we were Can't reminiscing. Stand that bitch. Whenever I see something Carol, I swipe. Bye-bye. Ratsville. I don't care who did drugs. I don't That's care true. if you were shooting heroin. I don't give a well, shit. Well, it's a felony, you so about? you don't want to really shoot heroin. The felony is really that you're talking about me when you shouldn't I really, really wasn't. I mean, you only want to read the bad stuff. There's also a lot of compliments in that. Right. I didn't hear a compliment had, in that. No, there were. <laughs> I didn't hear one. No, the article always, like, oh. slices. Exactly. They slant exactly. it to the negative. Yeah. Wait, I just read something else now. I'm sorry, but this is what oh, I... Oh, Now what? This is about Luann. I thought that was a real friendship, but nothing really I learned with Luann is genuine. Yeah, that's true. What? Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> you got to give her kudos for being truthful. Why well, talk about it on your on your podcast? You know what I mean? Well, like, I don't need to be thrown under the bus you're not, for you, you to gain popularity. You know? No, I wouldn't say that that's because what's I'm happening. relevant. You know? I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that or, that's what's happening. What, what Leah just read to me, I take no issue with. I think there's nothing wrong with it. I stand behind it. If it bothered you in any way, I really apologize to you about it. I just don't want to be talked about that way. I get it. I, I imagine it. Totally. you can but, understand but really how I feel what, about what you said. The funniest part about it all is no one really even listened to the podcast.
Leah read some sensational headline, which we understand the media does that, and it's meant to grab us in. But when you read the article, there was no meat to it. We always had fun together. That was the whole thing with it. And, you know, I'm so glad to see all that you've been through and all that you've gone through on the other end. And I can't wait to talk to you more because I feel like it won't be so surface. It, maybe we can, you know, be deeper friends like we were. Yeah. It bothered me that Heather would talk about me like that. And so I'm glad I cleared the air with her. There's no L elephant in the room. I don't like elephants in the room. Let's make some new memories. You're going to yeah. meet um, Garth tomorrow. I look forward to it. He's like a... I'm excited. I, I don't know. He's I, like a Viking. Yeah, I was going to say like a new Well, I can't eat. Well, Leah said we're painting a naked man. Is it him? Oh, yeah, that's who. No. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Talk, do, do tell. No, no, no. Victoria and my niece Nicole is at the house and they're artists. So I said, let's do something different, whatever. And the girls are like, oh, we have a great idea. They sure mm -hmm. did. So they said, you know what? I'm going to get a male model <laughs> over and we're going to do some new drawing and painting. And I was like, cool. I wonder if he's a shower or a grower. Leah, they're all growers. I've never met a non grower. That's true. But sometimes the growth is like, you're growing. You're like, oh, your dick was just that big. And now you have the biggest. I've ever seen. I oh. hate when a guy's balls are bigger than his limp dick. <laughs> oh, no, that's not. Oh. I think everybody would hate that. Oh, yeah, what do I do now? You about to sorry, die. but you know, like. You have to point okay, the key, little ball, that's 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 Sex again? All these words, really? For one night, this elegant breakfast at Tiffany? Do you really have to always talk about sex and other stuff? The conversation is getting a little crazy in there. I feel like if a guy doesn't eat your ass, he's not a real man. What? <laughs> if Leah wants to throw out the F-bombs, the D-bombs, the V-bombs. When she's with us, she should be able to do that. She should be able to be herself. Are you saying if a guy doesn't eat your ass out, he ain't worth his weight and salt? If I was a guy, like, I would do it. This is not 1950. You don't have to pretend that you are a virgin. Who talks about, like, okay, it's just not me. We all know that she has lots of sex. <laughs> She does. Okay, these bitches can talk about their peenies and peenies and D's. I still have elegance in class. Your dick is smaller than your balls. That's a whole different ball game. <laughs>